morning. We are here at Maximo Marina at Millionaire Row, as they call it. And we've got some beautiful boats here. But uh, today we're working on an old wooden one. Uh, the customers tried to remove all of the fuel. Uh, the boat almost sank on them. Uh, we've got Miss Judy 1 and Miss Judy 2 here behind me. And uh, the guy's just giving away the boat. So if you know anybody that wants a beautiful old wooden fishing boat, uh, we're going to take a quick tour of it here. So, anyway, some beautiful yachts here. Um, and these two here, uh, apparently the owner had passed away and the family's just trying to get rid of both of them. So this one behind me is the one that we're going to be working on today. Miss Judy, we're going to hop aboard here. I don't even know what this thing is. I think he said early 80s, but it's a wood hole. You can tell it was just beautiful back in the day. Been sitting here for quite some time, almost sank. Um, so the marina is kicking him out. They don't really like uh, boats that uh, might sink in their slip. So again, uh, this boat is being given away for free to the first person that'll come pick it up. Uh, the engines may run, we're not entirely sure yet. Uh, it's got a leaking prop shaft, so that's what the water's coming from. But uh, solid teak decks, and then everything below is solid wood. Brand new diesel generator. This Northern Lights generator probably will run you fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Got a salon. Two staterooms. Also, we've got an almost new Northern Lights generator in here. Uh, you can tell this baby was really well loved. Solid wood floors. Right now, we're just in the process of removing the fuel. Not looking too bad for as long as the boat's set. Here we are from the flybridge. She's a little dusty. You can tell it's beautiful wood underneath here. And obviously some of the electronics and uh, panels are upgraded along the way. Again, free boat. Anybody that wants Miss Judy, shoot me a comment and I will get you in touch with the owner. Good morning. We are back on the road today, headed down to the Keys again. I'm actually going to pick up my next boat project, was it, it, which is a 2005 Grady White. Um, so, gonna go pick that up. It's down in uh, Summerlin, I believe, just 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 one key above uh, Key West. So it's pretty much the whole way down. Um, so anyway, found this boat online, really good price. Um, the guy had 50, 60 offers on it within. Uh, an hour. Uh, luckily, I was the first one that contacted him. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool boat. I'm gonna go take a look at it. If everything checks out okay, I'm uh, gonna tow it back here to Tampa, and I've uh, got some boat projects I want to do on it. All right, we'll check in here uh, as we get closer to Miami.
All right, we're here at the Diving History Museum with Noah. We're gonna go check it out. Here we are at the Isla Mirada Bass Pro Shop. Noah is super excited to go check it out. So this is a Wheeler 1930s model boat. They call this the Pilar, which is uh, also the name of Ernest Hemingway's boat, but uh, this is actually a different model from uh, the Hemingway boat. The actual Pilar is in Cuba. Um, I will show a picture here of it uh, when we visited Havana a few years back. But uh, anyway, this is not actually the sister ship. It's a totally different model, but um, it, it kind of plays uh, homage to uh, the actual Pilar because it is the same uh, vintage and same uh, manufacturer of the original. All right, so we made it to Marathon, uh, staying at the Fairfield here. Um, water's right across the street here. Just a, a great day. Got to stop at the Diving Museum, uh, the Bass Pro Shop with Noah. He had a great time. So tomorrow, uh, we've got maybe another hour drive, and we're going to go uh, this almost to Key West. Um, check out this boat, see how it looks in person. If everything looks okay, hook it up and head back home. So hope you enjoyed the shots for today. Probably try and get the drone up one more time before bedtime. morning we are on day two of this trip um, just passed off a of marathon and hit it headed further southwest um, so should be to Summerlin Key in about 20 minutes just a absolutely fabulous uh, drive looking at the beautiful water from here on down uh, the lower keys always put on a, a, a beautiful show with, with these watercolors so we will check in here shortly should be to the Grady White uh, in just a bit I would not want to walk on that either
are five minutes out um, towards Ramrod Channel here. So it says we are only 22 miles from Key West. So pretty, pretty darn close. So hopefully, hopefully this boat was worth it. Should be there in just, uh, just a minute. Alright, just picked up the Grady White. Suzuki 250 on the back. All the cushions are in the cabin, so it's got that cool hard top on it. So pretty happy with it for the age. couple little projects that need to be done here and there as to be expected but otherwise looking good all right we are headed on back traffic is heavy for a Wednesday morning everybody's going to Key West apparently 402 miles to go about a hundred of those on the overseas highway to get back to the mainland but luckily, boat is towing great, and everything is uh, going well so far. 